Exactly. Exactly what I was thinking. Well, we, uh, we have got some uh, amazing guests tonight. Uh, a young man, everybody's favorite rom-com hero, uh, Hugh Grant is here this Woo! evening. <laughs> and from the new Broadway play, Good Night Oscar, Sean Hayes is going to be out here in this little while. Uh, you know, um... You know, it's interesting, you know that uh, that David statue thing? Yeah. Where the, the parents were upset <laughs> yeah. that they weren't warned that the kids were going to be see the the David? Yeah. yeah you yeah. know? <laughs> I, 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 I can relate in two ways, which is, first of all, it is uh, terrible for a, a young man's body image to see the David and think... <laughs> To think that that's possible, because it's <laughs> his his abs are literally rock hard. That's not fair. Not fair. But the, but the second thing is the second thing is, and how was this in the first year of this show, like 2015 or 2016, something like that? Mm -hmm. We wanted to show the David on the show, and we got a note from CBS that said, "You can't show the David. Na David, that's a naked man." Wow, really? I said, "It's the David." You had to and they it? said, "Okay, you can show. You can't show a close-up picture of the David. It has to oh. be a full body picture of the mm -hmm. David." It has to be OTS, meaning it's over here. It's not f full frame. Yeah. And you can't leave it up for more than two seconds. Wow. Wow. Yeah. This is 2016? That's how threatening,ly <laughs> sexual that statue is. Wow. So we only left it up for two seconds, and I certainly hope that no one paused their DVR in that moment <laughs> and got real close to the screen like that <laughs> and went, "Why isn't he circumcised?" <laughs> You're on your honor. <laughs> Folks, anyone who knows me knows I love space. It's vast, it's mysterious, and apparently full of nougat. And I like to give you all the cosmic updates in my ongoing segment, Space News. <laughs> nice time. Nicely done. First up, SpaceX News! Ah, uh, this guy. Earlier this month, Elon Musk's SpaceX launched an international crew of astronauts on a space station mission, where, just like Musk's employees at Twitter, they will work around the clock, sleep at the office, and poop in a vacuum. You may also remember that Musk still has thousands of his Starlink internet satellites orbiting the Earth, and now space watchers are warning that China could launch 13,000 satellites to disrupt Starlink because Chinese military researchers say it could threaten China's national security. I mean, that seems like too complicated of a plot. If Elon Musk really wanted to destroy China, he would buy it and appoint himself CEO. <laughs> 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 According to SpaceX, Musk has a new rocket in the works, the first launch attempt of which will be near the end of April. But the real goal is not to blow up on the launch pad. <laughs> That's a pretty low bar. Uh, ideally, I'd love to win a gold medal in the gymnastics, but the real goal is not to crap myself on the pommel horse. <laughs> Come on, baby. <laughs> Next up. Next up, space cleaning news. <laughs> a company in Switzerland is set to launch a giant claw for removing space junk that will grab onto space debris and send it into Earth's atmosphere to burn up. But trust me, no matter how many quarters you feed that claw, you will never get the space Pikachu. <laughs> Next up... Pika! Pika Pika! Next up... Space President News! <laughs> Celestis, a Texas-based company that sends people's ashes to the stars, announced that DNA from four American presidents will launch to deep space. Not the best first impression gift for the aliens. Zorg, the new neighbor, sent us something. It's a blue dress with... <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> 
Next up, Mars flooding news. Woohoo! Righteous. China's Mars rover has found hints of catastrophic floods on the red planet, but cautioned that the region could also have been covered in lava. This new data, of course, supports the prevailing scientific theory that Martians traveled by hopping from couch cushion to couch cushion. <laughs> the floor is lava. Uh, finally. Oh. <laughs> finally, planetary conjunction news. Recently, Jupiter and Venus kissed in a stunning planetary conjunction. And everyone found out the next day, because if you look closely, Jupiter totally has a hickey. <laughs> and this rendezvous was particularly special because, as one expert put it, although Venus and Jupiter get close to one another every few years, this time there is also Mars and Saturn in the mix, which is pretty rare. <laughs> and with that many planets in the lifestyle, you know someone's going to get curious about Uranus. <laughs> we'll be right back with Hugh Grant.